In this video, I'm going to be telling you why we all came out from Africa. So here comes the big question. Why was it Africa that we all came out from? This is going to be a long part series where we're going to be talking about the history of Africa for dummies. And I'm going to be breaking down the history of Africa from millions of years ago to yesterday. East Africa's Rift Valley was where it began for every one of us about 3 million years ago where we grew from a culture of hunter gatherers to the wise man that we are today. But what exactly is an hunter gatherer culture? An hunter gatherer culture is a culture where the people who live there used to either be hunters or gatherers. Preferably the men were always the hunters and the women were the gatherers. The men would hunt for meat and the women would gather forage from tuba and every other sort of tiny mammal that they could get. The Adzawi tribe in present-day Tanzania is a perfect example of what life was for Africans as hunter gatherers. And it would be shocking to you that this is exactly how we humans have lived for 99% of our lives. Early humans began to cook about 1.9 million years ago when they discovered fire. It meant that it was easier for them to be able to digest the food and this saved them time to do other activities that they wanted to do. But what's the evidence that we all came out from Africa? Let's go back to somewhere around the 19th century, when British biologist Charles Darwin theorized that man descended from a family of gorillas and apes, and most importantly, the African gorilla and ape. It caused an uproar in then Victorian British society, most importantly from the church who believed that everyone or our humans were created directly from God and would have evolved from an animal, and also those that couldn't come to the terms that the perceived superior white were actually at one point in time Africans and from apes. This theory by Charles Darwin prompted a big race in the search for the history and origin of mankind. But what in modern day can tell us if gorillas were actually our ancestors? Simple to put it, the DNA of gorillas are 98% identical as humans. The Leakey family from Kenya dedicated their entire life from father to son in searching for the origin of mankind and they made a very shocking discovery along the line. It is believed that about 7 million years ago was when humans and modern day apes and chimpanzees actually had a split and thus gave birth to a certain new species that were neither apes nor the present day man, more or less ape men. And they have been scientifically given names like Australopithecus africanus and blah 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 tongue breakers basically. Gorillas and apes as we know them make use of both their hands and their feet to walk. But it was about 4.5 or 5 million years ago that full bipedalism actually occurred when a species that diverted from these gorillas and apes began to walk with its two legs upright. This meant that Africans or humans generally could begin to use their hands to do other things. So where do we come in? Literally, how old is our own generation or species of apes? Um, somewhere, not really is, but I mean humans, you know, where, 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 where do we come in? About 1.8 million years ago, there was the Homo habilis, which meant the handyman. And why was the handy handyman? Literally, he was better than every other species with the hand. And about 1 million years, there was the Homo erectus, which meant standing erect or something like, or upright, you know, erect, Homo, man, erect, erect, man. <laughs> then came Homo neanderthalensis talents about 200,000 years ago. And Homo sapiens sapiens as we have today, that is you and I, just a hundred thousand years ago. So here comes the big question. Why was it Africa that we all came out from? The answer is not far-fetched. It is simply our climate. Africa's large green vegetation made it possible for the evolution of man. I mean, you either had to kill or be killed. There was food everywhere, everything was green, basically, even the Sahara Desert. Yes, even the Sahara Desert. It wasn't until about 10,000 to 12,000 years ago that the Sahara Desert that you know today began to be the Sahara Desert. 
it used to be a lush green vegetation and there's evidence of this somewhere in Sudan. So everyone is literally an African. You and I are watching this video from anywhere you're watching this video is an African. We are all connected to African roots. It is unarguable scientifically. Culturally, it might be argued because of the fact that there has been a stereotype placed on the people of Africa, on our culture, on our religion, on our practices. But scientifically, it can no longer be argued that every one of us, 7 billion people, are Africans. So, what were the activities that our forefathers, ancient Africans, used to do millions of years ago? Uh, top of the list definitely will be hunting. But also, they are very good artists. Look at those caves. Cave paintings not only tell us about their times, but also it is a mysterious way of communicating amongst themselves at that point in time. I'm making a possible guess. But in case of farming, or if there was a white lion that was killing people, showing such illustration on the rock would definitely indicate to other people that there was danger in that area. The difference between us and previous, you know, ape men of some sort or previous gorillas was the fact that we had certain characteristics that define us today. Homo erectus is believed to be the first species of man to use speech. I mean, literally, me speaking right now, Erectus did it first. And speech is a complex concept. The ability for us to communicate, the fact that you can hear me and I can hear you, generally automatically meant that it was faster for that species to develop and become what we are today. It made it possible for us to express today, remember yesterday, and plan for tomorrow. Thank you for watching this video. If you love it so much, you should all gather around that red and white button with the inscription subscribe. You should probably hit this thumbs up. I know Homo Erectus used it a lot. And you can decide to just drop a comment. What do you think? Let's talk. Do you have any reservations? Is there something you would like me to know? Remember, there's a new series that I call African History for Dummies. I am Peter and I'm a travel vlogger with interest in African history, culture and tradition. This is my tiny space for big ideas. Be sure to subscribe and you can also watch these extra videos so you get to learn a lot about Nigeria and Africans.